people are like, put your toothbrush up, do this. I'm like, you need to calm down. Like, <laughs> calm down. Like, I will not miss that 100%. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Michelle. This is my daughter. Caroline. Kayla. And they are twins. In this video, they're twin power separating, to say it nicely. So, my daughter has decided during this pandemic that she is going to travel to the UK. And Caroline this morning at breakfast was, she's kind of expressed how she's not so happy with her leaving her so guys even though they are 20 they just turned 20 this is the first time they're going to be separated everything we do we do as a family and every time we go somewhere we kind of go as a family so it's actually the first time i'm going to be separated from her I might do that in a different video but today is kind of her sister that's always been right there next door is she's kind of leaving and she's not just leaving us for a few days guys she's leaving us for like two months that is different in this household and i know a lot of you can come into the comment section and be like oh at 15 i left home and i did this and that that's fine but in our family that's not something we've done before so today is kind of caroline's reaction and i'm going to let her take this video over um about her leaving to the uk no <laughs> all right just kind of tell us what you thought whenever we first said she was moving to the uk um whoa <laughs> visiting the uk i probably want her to leave just because I've never been away. Like, we've probably the, the least amount of time I've been away from her is probably like three days for like mini vacations. And it's only been for the weekend. It's only been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back Monday or whatever. So it's not like it's a big period of time. But I think, no, like, you planned on leaving is what makes it worse than knowing that you have to or something like Like, you, if you understand, like, I'm saying, like, Two months is planned. When you move out, it's kind of something you have to, not have to do, but like, it's a part of life of growing up that you'll like, accept along the way. But she like planned, she planned leaving. So that puts a different feel on me more than like, oh yeah, yeah, I have to, you know. That's what we were talking about this morning because Michaela instantly tried to defend herself at the table and she's like, well, one day I am going to move out and you're going to move out. But it's completely different. It's a completely different feel than... Oh, right. let's move out and then like, oh, I'm going on a two month vacation. Like, that's different. Right. That's just kind of like, she feels like she's been abandoned. It's probably not different to some people, but to me, I feel like it's a different feeling. Yeah, it's almost like abandonment. Abandonment. You're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you think that you're going to kind of feel the same thing or you just think you're overexcited right now and you don't worry about leaving your sister? I don't know how I feel at the moment. Like, I don't know. Like, I've never done this before, so I honestly have no idea how I'm going to feel, to be honest. Like, I know I'm going to miss you guys, but I'm like, how would I feel? I don't know. You're not going to miss me? No, I, yeah. You're not going to feel different with me? No, I said I was going to miss here. you. I said I was going to miss you. It's just like, is it, I don't know, is it like, going to feel like different? I don't know. Like, it's going to feel different. She's not sleeping right beside you. Like, her bedroom's not going to be right there. You're not going to see her every morning. You're not going to tell her good night every night. Like, it's definitely yeah. going to be different. Yeah, I guess it is going to be different. You're just so excited to go that you don't think, like, it hasn't yeah. sunk in about leaving her yet. And someone on the other side that's not excited about something that's kind of like... I'm that type of person, though, that's going to get there and be like, hey, can I go home now? Like, I am that person. Like, that's why I don't do sleepovers. That's why I don't... I don't do all this because I was just like, I don't like it. So I think that's what, how I'm going to feel. I want to get there. So have a great time, but then still think in my head, hey, when can I go home? Yeah, she's the one, guys. Even, you know, so if you're new to our channel, we've traveled to multiple upon multiple countries. And sometimes we were doing them back to back, like one week, come home, unpack, and go to the next week. And she, like Michelle's like, a bag is always packed and ready to go. But she was often saying, even if, because like some three of them, days is enough for me and I'm right. ready to, I've seen enough, okay, ready to go home. So two And months, even with her family there, like yeah. we were all there together and she's still going, but I need home. Like I need my stuff. I want to be the comfort of my home. Yeah. So to leave for two months. So I am probably going to feel something. It's just it's probably not going to hit me till Day I'm, three. <laughs> till I'm there a lot of week and stuff. I'm like, okay, yeah, now I'm ready to go home. Like, I think that's when it's going to be like, okay, this is actually happening. Like I'm doing this, you know? 
I know. I'm kind of curious to see from when she crosses over the pond, like when she calls me. Right now, Michaela's very much into I'm um, being a grown-up and I'm very independent and that's her mindset. So I don't know that she'll ever tell me the truth, but I'm kind of curious within her own self. I think I'm about day four. The excitement of seeing her boyfriend has kind of died down and it's going to be like, wait. <laughs> um, mom? <laughs> Sis? Like, good morning, anybody? Like, the Anna and Elsa, and you want to go build a snowman? Like, I think it's going to be, like, kind of hit her like that. But I don't know. And I think on this side here, hopefully... I mean, I'll be at home, but I don't know. It's going to be totally weird to get up in the morning time. Like, guys, like, we're close. It'll definitely be three. nice because she won't boss me around or have so <laughs> much anxiety. Like, she'd be like, put your toothbrush up. Do that. I'm like, you need to calm down. Like, <laughs> calm down. Like, I will not miss that 100%. Like, I'll be glad that it's gone. But I'm curious but. to know if you over, like, overthink things, like, when she's gone and your toothbrush is laying out, I'm wondering, are you going to be like, wait, maybe I should put that up? No. Because nobody's fussing no. at you now. No. I was going to be glad that I get to leave it out. I get to do my own thing for two months. And then once she comes TV back, seven to go to sleep. I don't want to go room is literally right next door. I don't leave it on so seven. So when she leaves her door open, you can hear whatever's happening in here. So if you, even if her TV's on seven, I can hear it over my TV because I don't go to sleep. My TV's like on three. I just like it for like a little bit of the noise and the light. That's always a battle in our house, guys. These girls, like they're really good. Like me and my brother fought more than they fought. I've only ever seen them like... We'd have to Beat do each other up. Yeah, we'd have to. That <laughs> Don't should be a story. No, th we should do a story time on what happened in London when these two actually. I was like, oh, what is <laughs> what did going we do? on? I don't even remember. No, we're going to do a story time on that one because that would be fun. Oh my God, how can you not? I know, me and my mom was talking about the other day because my mom was there with us. And when me and my mom went on vacation, we were talking about them two fighting and Caroline and them both was like, wait, I don't remember that. And I was like, let me trigger your memory because it's the first time I'd ever seen my children and they were probably 17. Like literally. Probably pulling hair, probably. Literally like fighting and I was like oh dang like she is so I'm walking it out. Doesn't, like I'm more the chill sister she, she is, is really more of the timid so if you put something out of place or you do something like it's awful it's bad like it's it's insane like I'm just like kind of like doing my own thing no she's drill sergeant all the time and it's so frustrating I'm like just let me live like don't yell at me like just chill please like their personalities are very different. Yeah. Even though they're twins and a lot of times they, oh man, if you like, if I scold her or she's in trouble, this is going to jump on. Like she's going to jump on and start attacking me. Like it's instantly they're going to take up for each other and they're going to see how bad they can make mom feel. And like, you know, that was wrong and what you done. And <laughs> okay. So they do that. They're very close on that nature. But at the same time, they're very different. Like she said, she is super chill. Sometimes so chill that she drives me nuts um, because I kind of have the OCD too, and it's just the OCD of wanting everything in its place. But, she but takes, now they share a bathroom. She takes care. it overboard. Like it's she do, it, she does get wrapped so, around it. It's so like overboard about things. It doesn't it even matter. I bought a toothbrush. Put the toothbrush the thing and put it in the cabinet along with the toothbrush. Like when I'm out, my hard. toothbrush is gonna be laying on the sink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate for to my future out. husband out there. My toothbrush will stay laying on the sink. I don't care who you are. Do not touch my toothbrush. Leave it alone. Touch, touch it. <laughs> She's going to be so mentally like disturbed by the toothbrush thing. She's going to be like, to her husband, if you touch my toothbrush, I dealt with that for 20 uh, years. It's, like, I'm normally, like, I like things organized and I like things in a cabinet, but my, she takes it way too overboard. Like, that is a lot. I don't lie like, to the camera. No, that is not I, true. I don't understand. Like a toothbrush, it's a toothbrush. It's a tiny She's toothbrush. A no, I'm not. Tiny. I think soap and toothbrush is fine laying on the sink. Here's the difference. Now that I'm older, I think I just, my like OCD, and that's not a diagnosed thing. You know, we all say we have OCD and that's not what it truly really is. If you know the diagnosis of OCD, but it is like you like everything in its place. And it's only certain things, I think, because like my shoes can lay out all day long. I don't yeah, know. that's how I am too. It's kind of weird where mine kicks in, but I think now, not to drive myself nuts, I just pick up after everybody and don't say a word to where she is going to verbally. But here's the fun thing. She professes about a drink. My drink is laying on the, the counter. Do not touch my drink. I'll put mine back in the fridge it. if it's out. It's not that's mine. That's our thing too, like in our house about, you didn't finish that. That's your drink. You didn't put your name on it. Someone moved it. Someone touched it. And I'm like, 
Are you serious? Your mom was in the fridge. Bickering about a soda right now? Like, I don't understand her logic about things at all. I'm like, there's more things in the line. fridge to fuss about than, it's not mine. than a soda being out on the countertop. Well, that's what I was going to say uh, before my daughter didn't raise her hand. Like, I've noticed, so Michaela has things that she's picky about. So there's certain things that she does. But, man, like, her dishes can lay in my sink for a week. And, um, you know, her laundry <laughs> could lay in there uh, for, like, a week. No, so I, I do laundry. Sometimes you do do your laundry. But there's certain things, like, she could easily leave out there and, like, it not bother her. But if it comes to her room or, the bathroom. or her bathroom, which she in the house considers, and it is theirs. That's their stuff to she clean. Hers. hers. Yes, yeah, not, not hers. shared. <laughs> so, it's definitely not hers. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm still curious because, like, they like to do this. So I think somewhere Caroline will miss somebody. I'm going to have to I'll miss the drink. presence of her and, like, someone to talk to. But will I miss... The drill sergeant and the OCD? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> she no. comes back. She's going to like, we'll have to film it, guys. Oh, yeah. She's going to be like, what is wrong with and you? And she's like, this so nasty. I'm going to be so tired. I'm still going to be fussing. Oh. Most of the time, I'm never here anyway. So the fact that she still yells at me about a toothbrush or a soda is beyond me. She yeah. took my de she took my perfume the other day and didn't even ask me. But if it was her stuff, I would hear it from her too. No, really. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. I mean, see, it, that's it, what, see, it, about with each other's stuff, that's where it gets it. Like, she cried the other night, the last time, because I wanted to take my curling iron. I spent $100 on my own curling iron, and she's over here crying because I wanted to take it on a mini vacation I went on. I bought it! And she's over here, what are you doing with my curling iron? Now I have nothing to curl my hair with. And she didn't even curl her hair the three days I was gone. I was like, are you, didn't even, go. she worked the three days. I was like, are you serious right now? See, somehow this turned into a different video. <laughs> like, I guess it's just more of just exposing each other. It is. This is more turned into let's expose each other than missing each other while they're gone. See, guys, I got so much content right here within my daughters. Like, let's just go at each other. So, Our frustration. maybe when Caroline said this morning was upset that Michaela was leaving She's not really so. I upset. am upset. She is because with other things I'm not gonna miss. Like she did because like um when we decided this we actually decided it's been a month now right three weeks about three weeks we have decided that she is gonna go I don't know yeah seems yeah. like we've been talking about, about it forever. For a while. She was not in the car with us. It was me and Caroline and I wish I could have had a camera then for Caroline's raw emotion, but that girl went off the handle and she's like. She don't even think about the people she's leaving. She don't even think about she goes to get sick. She don't even think about what that could do to us as a family. I mean, Caroline was, and I was I like, was mad. I was like, okay, whatever. Like She's like, and I'm her sister. And I was like, well, as I listen, because I always listen to my kids vent. And then I'm going to kind of tell them what I think about it. And then at the end, as Caroline's done, I was like, yeah, Caroline, you know you ain't talking to your best friend, which we are. We are best friends. But, you know, like, I'm her mom. I, I a thousand percent get it. Like, I know where you're coming from on the... Hey, this is the first time Michaela's doing a big travel by herself, so we worry about her on that nature, and then, yeah, you know, the COVID thing, and then get over there in the border like down, and just, Caroline was very upset, and then she's like, and then she comes back and wants quarantine. I'm not giving my life up for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nope. <laughs> so, I was like, And then you can be somewhere somewhere else, but not here. Yeah. So, and then it was, and she was like, and I can't believe she's just leaving me. So, I think that Caroline will be upset, but I'm curious to know. We're going to vlog during those moments, so we'll see true moments, I'll hopefully. I'll post a video on my channel about me, the whole experience, because I'm going to vlog through the whole airport and everything. But are you going to be real, or are you scared somebody's going to watch it? No, I'm really going to be real. Like, I, I think it's so cool that I'm, like, 20 and doing a whole European trip by myself, so I'm going to try to vlog me eating, the airport, the whole... We want the emotion. The whole process. Emotion, not the eating and the food. We want to know what you're feeling. Michaela's so funny. The process. She, yeah, she'll be like... I got, I got, I got the security check by myself. There you go. That's my worst nightmare. It's so funny. Every time we travel, this one, she almost cries when we go into the airport. Oh, yeah. She's got a lot better. She's scared she's going to go to jail. But if you're... No, I'm scared my stuff's going to get stolen. Stolen. That is uh, what her always, her fear is. is somebody's going to take my stuff as it goes through the bag check. And I'm like, you're standing right there. I don't there even know. I fear it. so many things just going through the security check. I don't... I'm Again, I'm chill. If it happens, it happens. Me too. I'm like... You would not be that way if you got your phone stolen. If my phone and iPad, yeah. But my clothes, okay. And... 
But as long as my iPad and my phone, which I have those right there normally with me anyway. It would But my suitcase, that. like, okay. Like, yeah, I'll be mad, like, upset that it's gone, but it's not something to, like... Cry over? Yeah. I just be frustrated. I would have spent a hundred more, like, thousand, two thousand dollars. I'm just glad that I'm safe. Lots all over in there. I don't want to rebuy all that stuff again. Whoever's working this place, don't take my stuff. Oh my gosh. We should do Michaela leaving. There's so much more content you're going to see on these subjects, guys. I'm going to end the video here so it don't get too long. As always, we talk too much. I just wanted to kind of see Caroline's input on Michaela leaving to go to the UK. I'm sure somewhere through here, I'm going to be more real with you guys and express how I feel and my concerns more on the subject. But, you know, that's Michelle. Always keeping it real. But I try to stay out of this as much as possible and let them two just kind of do their thing in this video because it was about them and their twin power. Um, but always, guys, thanks for watching. And I guess just wait to see what we'll do or say next. <laughs> Bye. Bye.